Welcome to Cheap Controls. On this YouTube channel, I make videos on things that I struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to focus on the Kramer Video Scaler. The model is the VP773A. I'm going to focus on capturing the RS-232 commands out of it so that we can send them back to it and control it. Eventually, I want to use a Nexion display to control this Kramer Video Scaler. The documentation that comes with the Kramer Scaler gives you the commands, but sometimes it can be a little difficult to get them working just because of the, the codes that they use. I thought it might be interesting to show you how I can get the codes from the Kramers specifically. What I do is I need a, a notepad that I can put the codes on. I've just got some test text on there for right now. And then I'm going to use Hyperterminal to collect the data. What I have is I have a Belkin serial USB port connected to the Kramer. The interesting part about Kramer is not only can you send RS-232 commands to it to control it, but if you press a button on it, it will send the command out the RS-232 port even if you just press the regular button. I'm going to show you that now. As you can see on the terminal here, I pressed the second button, or actually the third button, and I, I got this command. Now right now it's just coming through as nonsense, and that's because I haven't got the controller set up to the right baud rate, or the Terra term set up to the right baud rate. I'm going to do that now. Go to the serial port. It wants to run at 115.2. Now you'll see I'll push the first button again. And this is the um, structure that you that you get from the Kramer. As you can see the character code when I first read the manual I was a little confused by what they were wanting and if you look at this it does send more data than you actually need. I'm going to clear the screen for now. I'm going to push number one again. And you get five lines of code. Now I'm going to copy and paste this to, over to the notepad. And then I'm going to go ahead and clear it again. And now I'm going to hit the second button. I'm going to collect that data also. I'm going to paste it over here too. Now I'm going to clear my screen again. Now this data over here this is in response to data that is either sent to it or the button pushed. So you don't need all of it, and the trick is to figure out what it is that you need to change the button. It's currently set on button 2, so I'm going to grab this first line for button 1. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to put it over here. And we'll see if it changes the button. And it did. And we also got codes coming back out of the Kramer to let us know that the command was OK. And then just some other information that we probably don't really need at this point. The other question that you would have is, is, is this first line here, is that what I sent to it or was that, or was that sent back from the Kramer to the terminal? We're going to make another adjustment to TerraTerm just to confirm something. So if you go into the terminal, we want to turn on the local echo. And we also want to, in the new line, we want to set this to auto. So this way it will place a new line when it receives data. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and clear the screen again. And this time we're going to send button number two. When you grab it, you want to grab the new line also. So I always start at the bottom, down here, and then move up, copy, and then come over here. And I right-click on this to bring this screen up, and then click OK. So switched over to number two, and then it replied that it 
with the exact same string saying yes we switched over number two and it worked. This other data may come in handy down the road but for right now it really doesn't mean much to me. But I can go back to button number one by selecting this, right clicking on it, copy, come over here, right click again, and hit OK. And then you can see that it switched over to one. So this video was just to go over how you can capture data from a Kramer device this way. I've worked with a few different Kramer video scalers and this seems to work on all of them. It's a quick way to find out what it is you want. You can even go into the screen. If you have this hooked up to a monitor, you can go in and use volume up, volume down, picture select. Pretty much anything you select will send the signal that you need out the RS-232 port. And then you can capture it in a program like TerraTerm record those strings and then use them later. My next video is going to be using the serial port on the Arduino to send data back to the Nexion and then use the Nexion to hopefully control the Kramer. I may divide that up into a couple videos. I like to keep the videos less than 10 minutes. Well that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.